Today is Monday, March 2nd, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Maggie Stout. Minnesota will hold its first primary after decades after as a caucus state. The state will hold its primary on Super Tuesday, when voters from 15 states and territories cast ballots. Minnesota does not require voters to register with a political party, unlike 31 other states. The new primary systems require voters to pledge they are in general agreement with the principles of the party. The DFL party informed the Secretary of State that 15 candidates will be on the ballot. Voters may also select the option uncommitted. A global agency says the coronavirus might shrink the world economy this quarter for the first time since the recession a decade ago. China's viral outbreak is disrupting global supply chains and is cutting profits. One business group says China's reduced production is hitting Asia and companies that depend on its goods around the world particularly hard. Economists worry greater caution among consumers will lead people to cancel plans, avoid stores, or stay home from work. St. Thomas students won five awards for advertisements and campaigns at AdFed Minnesota's The Show Ceremony on Friday. Students Olivia Zipperer and Sam Harridges won two gold awards for the Catholic Church Timeless Values campaign. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Maggie Stout.